Hello everyone, my name is Rampage, and I'm gonna get straight into it because the beginning of this video is gonna be a little bit long. So I used to think that this was the best build, with critical eye level 7, attack boost level 5, critical boost level 3, weakness exploit level 3, maximum might level 3. And it does 1697 damage. Now this build is pretty much the same except that it switches attack boost level 5 for resentment level 5 and we add in this skill dereliction at level 1 which is a new skill with sunbreak. And as you can see we did 1775 damage. That is an increase of 78 damage or 4.6% more damage. Now the one downside to this build is that our health is going to be constantly draining. As you can see it slowly drains our health. This is because of the dereliction skill. However we can decrease the speed at which our health drains using a dango. So the dango that decreases the rate at which our health drains is called hide and seek. And as you can see the description for this dango is greatly recovers health over time when discovered by a large monster. You can increase the chance of receiving this dango's effect from 60% to 100% by using a dango ticket and it's very easy to farm an unlimited amount of dango tickets. We can also increase the effect of the super recovery by using the hopping skewers but it will decrease the chance to activate by 20% all the way down to 80%. As you can see our health drains a lot slower now. You can unlock that dango by doing the 6 star quest, Secret Sticky Sticking Sauce. And if you don't have it unlocked, that just means you need to do more quests. So I'm actually going to show you what the build is now. Unfortunately, that introduction took quite a while. So for the weapon, I'm using the Abyssal Flicker. It has 340 attack, 80 hits of purple sharpness, 19 dragon element, negative 25% affinity, zero defense bonus, no slots, and a level 3 rampage slot. For the rampage slot you can either use the door soul jewel 3 or one of the exploit decorations as each exploit decoration does 5% more damage to a particular monster type. Or if you don't want to be switching decorations around for each hunt you can just use the door soul jewel 3 and it will work well for everything. For the head I'm using the arc fiends armor Kerito with two expert jewel 2s. For the chest I'm using the Barioth Mail X with two expert jewel 2s and one grinder jewel 1. For the arms I'm using the Barioth Vambraces X with an expert jewel 2 and a grinder jewel 1. For the waist I'm using the Gosserag Coil X with a tenderizer jewel 2, grinder jewel 1, and steadfast jewel 1. For the legs I'm using the Arc Fiends Armor Scaros with a tenderizer jewel 2, and two critical jewel twos. For the talisman I'm using a wirebug whisperer level three, part breaker level two with a three one one slot and I put a critical jewel two and two steadfast jewel ones in those slots but you do not need a talisman that is this rare. As long as you have a talisman that can get you critical boost level one and stun resistance level two you will be good to go. I did not plan to have Wirebug Whisper or Partbreaker on this build when I designed it. Those just happened to end up being there because of my talismans. So in total, our skills are Critical Eye level 7, Resentment level 5, Critical Boost level 3, Weakness Exploit level 3, Maximum Might level 3, Quick Sheath level 3, Stun Resistance level 3, Speed Sharpening level 3, and Dire Election level 1. Wirebug Whisper level 3, Part Breaker level 2, and Punishing Draw level 1 are extra skills that were not intended to be on this build, so it is perfectly fine if you end up missing those, but Punishing Draw does come with the set and not the Talisman, so you will end up with that skill if you use all of these armor pieces. So if you found this video helpful or entertaining, consider helping me out by subscribing and I have more videos like this coming soon. And if you made it this far into the video, I want to let you know that I really appreciate you and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.